Congress knew this morning, 16 years after the devastation of September 11th, 2001, the images of that day remain seared in our minds. The impact even greater for people who were in New York City that day. Now, the day before this year's anniversary, there's going to be a brand new event in Traverse City. Yeah, it'll not only honor the victims of the attack, but it'll also help raise money for their families and local first responders. 7 4's Brett joins us now live in the studio to explain the impact 9 11 had on Northern Michigan, plus how you can participate in this new event. Good morning, Brett. Hey, good morning, Tom. Many of us remember where we were on that September day in 2001. Me, I was in my second grade classroom trying to understand as a seven year old what was going on in the world around me. However, one Traverse City resident had a much different experience. She was there in New York City, and it's a day she'll never forget. It was just sheer terror. On September 11th, 2001, Traverse City resident Jen Casey was there in New York City the day the towers fell. While she was miles away from the incident, it was still close in her heart and the hearts of those she knew. At night, I was a spinning instructor and with one of the chief of the fire departments who was the first responding team who sent his men in uh, that day that never returned. Of course, being firefighters, 9-11 hit us pretty hard. The attack also hit home with Fire Chief Pat Parker of the Grand Traverse Area Fire Department, which made a simple promise. That day, we promised all those families and that department that we would never forget. While the department has held a memorial every year, this year will be different. It's always had a huge impact on my life. I've wanted to find a way to honor this day. To remember, Jen Casey created the first ever Traverse City 9-11 Remembrance 5K, with the proceeds benefiting the September 11th Families Association in New York and local first responders, who also plan to make an appearance. Uh, we're actually going to have firefighters out there in our turnout gear, and, and we're going to be trying to, to run through the, uh, through the course as well. By creating the new annual event, Casey hopes to make sure that day will never be forgotten, even by those who were too young to remember. It's something that we will never forget. And I want to be able to show the younger generation what happened on that day and just to never forget. Now, 7 to 4 News is a media sponsor of this event. The 5K Runner Walk takes place Sunday, September 10th, starting and ending at FM Park in Traverse City. Now, the start of the race time is 8.46 a.m. That's the time the first tower was hit. And the cost for the race is $25. We were just talking a little bit about this. You were in second grade when the second happened. grade, Melissa, yeah. you were I was a remember senior in high school. Senior in high school. I was in, yeah. I was in a, a newspaper class. Yeah. And what you, you don't you, you cannot forget those images. Every yeah. time you see them, you get chills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was in the newsroom. You were you were here. <laughs> yeah. We were all I obviously in separate points in our lives, yeah. but yeah. Oh, wow. fantastic event though in honor mm -hmm. of this to remember yeah. those victims. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and the time start time too. Right. Significant. Yes, oh absolutely.